So thank you for joining this um, community call from the open air content pro for the open air content providers. So the provide service where we detail the the, the recent uh, developments uh, regarding the the dashboard for 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 providers and uh, some of the services related with uh, with content providers. So repository managers, um, pre system managers, journal editors, etc., uh, that uh, are part of this uh, open air infrastructure. The idea today, we don't have a, a specific main topic. We have the idea also to discuss um, uh, like 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 the other call that we discussed the study that our colleagues from from CNR East in Italy did um, about the 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 availability of the of the repository, the content from the repository, the OIP image interfaces, etc. Um, we would like also to 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 look carefully, maybe next month, uh, to a study, uh, a recent study that um, some colleagues did for the European Research Council regarding the readiness of repositories um, for the for the funder uh, compliance. Uh, and maybe we will focus on that. Uh, maybe maybe we can share the, during the, this this call the, the link for that study. Um, but we did, didn't have uh, the availability of the, of the of the author, so we will just run through some um, of the recent novelties and some things that we can discuss uh, about um, this. Uh, these novelties and in, in, in recent developments and, and and as you know all this available for to to support any any issue that you have or any doubt that we have uh, we still relying on the update of the content and the index update from the 4th of april now um i want you to i want to remind you that now we have this um new uh, link to check the um, the information about changes changes on the on the on the graph on the content okay so there are um, initially uh, we had uh, um, that information close to the explore uh, service but now it's in the graph uh, page okay graph.openair.eu and then in the documentation you have um, the, the changes, the main changes when we do these updates. So if there is um, information uh, from a relevant at the source, like a new funder on board or or, or critical changes in the, in the in the model. And so we all those things are, are identified there. Um, be aware. And if you are interested, we we did uh, with uh, in collaboration with Eurocris uh, the Open Air Guidelines uh, for Cris Managers webinar. Uh, the recordings are available. Um, Andre Andre can share the link here. Uh, maybe you can you you can check if you want also to just to clarify uh, some 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 doubts. In fact, I already saw. Some colleagues here, even from Jan, is here from from Iraqis. Uh, I'm not sure if Andreas from Bielefeld already joined us, um, but uh, we can also clarify. So be aware of this, or, or or if you know someone that would be interested, you can. The other the other relevant uh, um, maybe there are also colleagues here from from uh, Dutch colleagues. So we 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 allocated some um, time and some effort to to specific support and the dedicated webinars for repositories from um, from the Netherlands that were part of NARCIS that was a national uh, aggregator that will um, stop um, uh, being available in the, in the soon so. They will rely on open air for the aggregation or of all the that the Dutch repositories. So we dedicated some time with them. Uh, so if you are interested uh, in this specific, if you are part of this country, you can also join. But but for for the others, for the community, is also interesting for you. 
to 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 be aware of this uh, the end of this uh, national aggregator narcissist and they are committed there is already a um, this uh, UKB task force co committed to ensure that the repositories will um, uh, continue to have visibility in, in, in uh, external sources and in aggregators like, like open air and benefiting from some of the services from open air. So this, this is really great. And we are, we are working with, with this task force and we are working with uh, and supporting all the interested repository managers. The last uh, information in fact we are not providing here so much uh, technical developments because in fact we didn't we didn't have done some changes uh, changes recently in the in the dashboard uh, it's also for for your information a guidelines panel that we will organize in the open repositories i'm not sure if some of you will be there if you are lucky to be in the in, in south africa in cape town for the for the open repositories this year and and the and the the, the main idea, uh, in fact, there is a slide that I can I can talk about it that now. Yes, the, the main idea of this, uh, uh, and it's not only uh, I, I I put it here in the, the slides, not only to advertise the, the panel, but more to also to share with you uh, that uh, what uh, um, this panel means. So the organization of this panel about open air. Uh, guidelines uh, is uh, to uh, formalize and to ensure that we will start from uh, this um, event uh, to to have a kind of community driven global governance of the guidelines as you know the guidelines are re relevant in the context of, of, of in the european context but they are also part of um, of um, policies or 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 guidance uh in some other parts of the world in some cases regions like the latin america the, for the la, la referencia network uh, or in cases of canada or in japan or even some alignments in korea um and uh, and uh, so this is this is why with uh, the, the open air organization decided to create a, a working group uh, with the different uh, uh, players involved and, 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 and stakeholders uh, that are in fact using the guidelines uh, for for like the standards for national aggregators or for regional aggregators or for other kinds of systems. Uh, so from this moment, from that panel, uh, the idea is that, okay, let's discuss how can we organize ourselves to ensure that the open air guidelines keep being updated by the open air people aligning with the, the European context, the European research, the um, European Open Science Cloud is critical here, but the idea is that, okay, uh, the needs from the different uh, um, national communities or regional communities are also uh, part of the developments that we are going to do to the guidelines. So this is what the the like let's say this uh, this milestone the mark of this of this event uh, this panel is to ensure that open air is open and the, and we will invite the, the players that will be part of this working group to continue this work uh, and in fact as we as we already did it in different contexts when we align with data seed or when we work together with oro Chris for um, uh, for for the Chris guidelines or for the guidelines uh, for that archive so uh, we are in fact working with the community, not reinventing the wheel, introducing and reusing standards, etc. So this is the continuation of this work, but in a global uh, perspective. So this is why we have this slide. If you will be in Cape Town, you can join the panel. But uh, uh, the this was not my intention; was really to just to for you to be aware that the guidelines, the open air are here to stay. And the idea is to receive and to welcome also input from other parts of the world. And let's see uh, about um, the updates that we can do. So, and, and this is a community driven thing. So we will for sure proper document everything and, and, and keep it aligned with also the, the um, software platforms for the different systems uh, that we are working with, not only the software for repositories, but other kinds of, of systems. 
Um, so we have uh, three more topics here to discuss, and then uh, so please interrupt me and I'll put questions in the in the chat. Let me check if this is on with the links that Andre is sharing, or if yeah. So Alessandra, you uh, um, the panel is uh, is in fact uh, the the open repositories uh, event. If I know. Well, it's just um, yes, uh, a presence uh, meeting, a face-to-face -face meeting. Uh, I don't think we will we can uh, we can um, maybe can, I can do an effort to record the panel because it will be something relevant, and then make it available uh, later. If 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 there are interested people here, I will ensure that I can I can do that effort, uh, even if with my my. Like my facilities, <laughs> or or try to find the good, uh, more professional facilities to to record. I think I think it's a good idea. If if there are more people interested, I can we can ensure that. Um, yes, and Andre also shared here the study that was also our idea. If there are more people interested in this, knock knock, who's there? Ah, this was the study that we we discussed it, uh, and then the other the other study, the Open Science Horizon Europe. Um, MGA requirements was the study that we want to address in one of the future calls. Uh, I hope that we can do it in um, in June, okay, with the, the colleagues uh, Najku from uh, Gottingham University and uh, and our colleague from uh, from Italy that I forget the name, but okay, they were they they are one of the two of the four authors of this of this report. Uh, presented to the European Research Council. Um, okay, so I check the chat. Uh, update the compatibility uh, repositories to get on board and in your catalog. Be aware of this uh, of this campaign. Some of of you are already in touch with us, which is great uh, to ensure that um, uh, you are at least compliant with the level three and level four of the guidelines or compliant with the recent uh, crease guidelines. Um, so we have uh, everything properly documented. If something is not sufficient, please contact us. We try to give you a quick answer. So why to upgrade, how to upgrade, everything is properly explained. Why to upgrade in this context of you that are part of the European research, um, European open science cloud uh, ecosystem that uh, you may want to have your uh, data source contributing to the research product catalog from YOSC. I think it's it's, it's important and it's uh, relevant uh, that you are aware that uh, that you need to comply with the guidelines three and four to be part of open air. We still have the aggregation from basic and the driver guidelines. Of course, to you, it's good that everyone does the, the best to, to, to push um, in the coming year to, to, to upgrade, but, but be part of the YOSC. Uh, so only level three and four are approved. Um, and then, the, so uh, Andre, is there anything else that you want to, to highlight? From the about this, so you you are, we are always happy to receive your contact. So we, we have this ticket system that you can send us to us to request help desk at openair.eu and we will reply. Yes, we already started to receive some requests from the community uh, in order for us to help uh, regarding these upgrades, um, and we are trying to to reply as quickly as as possible. Um, and uh, yes, we are available to, to support. Perfect. So there are different people involved. So even uh, as uh, from the menu team, but then, then the open air uh, with the colleague Leonidas that can help. And then, of course, the aggregation team that can solve all the issues when we are testing it and, uh, and uh, trying to aggregate the content. Uh, now, now we have just two two slides here to to detail to you, and I think it's important for you to be aware of 
some of the recent information. So we talked several times about the onboarding in YOSC, that you can do it via open air and being part of open air is quite easy to be part of, of YOSC. There are some things that we are updating and we don't have it yet working on the side of the provide, but the information is already consumed by the YOSC. So maybe Andre, that recently is is more involved in this in this work and is also part as, as other members of open air part of the yosk onboarding um, um, team can can detail a bit uh, so what you want what you need to do or what you need to know the basics about uh, onboarding your data source uh, also in in the yosk uh, portal so what you need to do etc Mm -hmm. Yes, thank you, Pedro. And uh, uh, first, uh, for the, this this uh, slide we are seeing here, just to inform you that uh, Ewosk is preparing uh, some additional documentation so to support all uh, providers that want to register uh, a data source or other service in, in the Ewosk portal. Um, and uh, also the, this page uh, that is uh, linked also in the chat with all the detailed instructions. Um, and the, the, a relevant uh, uh, topic that, that uh, you as a data source manager need, need to uh, to know is that in order to register to, to onboard the data source in EOSC, first you need to have your uh, repository also registered in open air and to be compatible with the open air guidelines version four or three uh, four or three yes for uh, institutional repositories and also compatible with the uh, guidelines for data archives for data repositories and regarding queries compatible with guidelines for queries managers and also uh, you need to 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 have your uh, organization also registered in in, in the ask portal for example, if uh, our, if uh, us at the University of Minho wants to register our uh, institutional repository, first we need to ensure that our university, University of Minho, is already um, onboarded in in EOS. So someone um, that represents the institution needs to register the institution, and then uh, a provider is a provider in organization. Yes. Mm -hmm. Uh, and then we can register a data source and other kinds of, of services. Then having the institution register, uh, as we can see on this uh, slide, in the first uh, box, we already have in the backend, in the dashboard for um, of a provider, an option to add new data source. Here in the data source is a repository, for example. And then in the second step, uh, once we select and want to register a data source, we will be able to search for data sources that are already registered in open air okay for example if you are, are already registered in open air provide your repository will appear here and some information will be automatically uh, prefilled and you can proceed um, adding the required information as you as you can see in the first box we have here a lot of fields to um, to provide some additional information for the OSC portal. Um, and at the end, you, you, you will be, um, you are adding, uh, uh, onboarding your data source in EOSC. And at the end, you uh, will be asked about the following. If you want to also on onboard the publications, uh, the research uh, results of your repository. And if you want, you, you just need to to say that you you want to to onboard also the research products and in practice if you want to onboard the data source and the research products both will be uh, searchable in the OSC uh, catalog okay so you are um, opening uh, a new possibility for the for the, the discovering of your um, data source uh, research uh, results registering in, in EOSC. And as Pedro said, already said, this process is, is not already fully implemented in order to, 
to do this link with also with open and provide but you can already start this registration process okay and um, the, um, the aggregation team is already onboarding new data sources in EOSC and the, proce the procedure is, is already ongoing and, and, and in place, but we are, um, the technical team is, 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 um, uh, is still continuing working in, the, in yes. some uh, details to, to implement yes. uh, the full but, but but in fact, for those that are part of open air, uh, so things are already there. So so you, having you access to the provider as provider of your organization can add a new data source or ask someone to do it. And uh, so as you see, find and uh, select your data source profile via open air from one of the registers. The, the, the information is from those registers that we have the information on our site. So you can um, just fill the form and then and, and proceed. So the idea is that then we have for others that are not part, we can also interact in open air and they register via open air, proceed with the aggregation and the testing and then are part of, um, of the um, of the USC portal. But, but this part, this last part that I talked is not yet implemented in our site, so only partially, but I think it's good for you to know that you can already do it if you want. Um, and this is this is good. And we have uh, so uh, members from the, the open air team part of the OSC uh, of portal onboarding team that ensure that everything works uh, well. So I hope this information is useful for you for you and that the details that um, Andre provided are, are are okay. So it's really quite easy now to to do it. Andre is uh, put here the some screenshots as open air organization provider okay of services but we can uh, you can check it if you are a provider in your organization sometimes so what you need is to ensure that someone uh, do the register or you ask someone to do it and uh, you need to wait a bit for the validation of, as you as a provider but then if everything is okay in terms of the organization uh, so you will be able to have data sources or to register other kinds of services and okay. just, uh, uh, just a final note, in the context of the uh, OSC Future project, uh, we are also uh, preparing a workshop regarding okay. this onboarding of data sources and research products. The date is not yet uh, finalized, uh, but uh, we, we expect to, uh, to start uh, disseminating this workshop uh, very soon. It has, yes. we, we expect to organize the workshop at the end of May. And, and yeah. if you are interested to onboard your data source, uh, you can register to attend this workshop and we will give, we will give uh, more detailed information. Yeah, see, yes, Andre, and, and I think maybe it's a good idea when we, we have the information ready for dissemination from the side of EOSC Future to send it to our to our mm -hmm. providers, maybe via the, mail, the mailing list that we have, so you yes. will be able to receive, so we will ensure that we send you the, the information about this. So this 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 was everything that we have to say. So we have time to for questions if you have any issue that you have with um, playing with um, the the, um, the dashboard or the other kinds of um, okay, Alexander, how to comply with different provider profile it to versus that as a data source. So in fact, in fact, now you can. Um, uh, you can register your data source as uh, as unique, okay? Because now we have that uh, we don't have that separation, clearly separation between a, a, a literature and data in a data source. We don't have everything solved from this particular but about the kind of catch-all repositories or hybrid repositories, whatever we call it, uh, Alessandra. But uh, but you can you can register it, and then. Uh, based on the um, the resource types, we present uh, the, the types of um, of uh, objects and the content that we, you have, uh, the articles, the conference, the data sets, etc. We can present that. So this this was something that we already start working uh, several times, and then there is also some work in terms of alignments and mappings between the resource types that OpenAir have and that they will be. Also visible in 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 kiosk, um, but for open air issue that part is solved now. 
uh, but, but if there is something that is not clear, maybe because of um, uh, a way that you have registered and now we need to change because maybe there was a, a set that you have excluded from the previous aggregation. So you can send us that request and we change whatever need to be changed in the aggregation profile. We don't have that now in that separation. I hope it was clear. Okay. Thank you. And there are more and more uh, of these kinds of of of, um, of uh, repositories, so catch-all uh, hybrid at the institutional level. There are some institutions like like Minu or like others universities that decided to have a publication repositories and a data repository. Even then, if there are some types of research outputs that are in the frontier, but there are other um, uh, institution institutions that have decided to use. The, the institutional repository publication also to host the, the data content, so which is also a good solution. But the, so just a question of updating some information or registering that information. Okay, thank you for the question. Uh, not sure if we have any other questions. If we have, we will reply. But uh, be aware that the recordings are always available and these slides are also available. So I'm not sure if you were aware of this uh, study that we shared, so pay attention. Uh, there are some things that I must confess that I don't agree <laughs> with this study. The, the, I'm opening the link. I'm sharing the, yes, this study here. I hope now now I open and I saw the that I was trying to to say Emma Lazeri. Uh, we con we contacted the uh, Nashko uh, and uh, Emma Lazeri that in fact they were already worked to open air to the, in the past to present and discuss with us this this study. I think you should uh, look to this to the study and uh, maybe we can discuss it in in the in the upcoming um, one of the upcoming calls. So. I'm not sure if you were aware if this is useful information. I'm not fully happy with some things that I saw from the results and other things, uh, but but I understand that they are a reality in some other things. I'm not sure if I agree with the conclusions. So I would like also to discuss it uh, in, in a community call like this, open uh, in an open way. So uh, let's see if we can have time for that in, in, the, in, the, in June. Um, so this is our promise. I'm not sure if we will do it in June or not, but uh, but we we will put for sure the recordings available for this community call and also the slides. Uh, and uh, so be 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 sure that you still receive the the newsletter or you suggest the newsletter to other colleagues that may be interested. We we keep publishing the the newsletter one or two days before the first Wednesday of, of the month to ensure that the community is informed. Um, and it's all. So today, as we did, when we don't have a topic for discussion, we usually do it only for half an hour, which is good for those that have some commitments. But I'm not sure if anyone wants to share some thoughts, even uh, any colleague from the Netherlands that is working on based on the information or from the or the Greece guidelines that we have two weeks ago. If not, if not, we can close. I hope that you it was useful the information for you. In fact, as 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 you saw, we don't have any novelty, nothing changed in our dashboard. So um we will uh, produce some uh, changes in the users counts quite soon because uh, so they are already in a phase that uh, we are looking to the so to the layout um so if you remember uh, we talked about the counter uh, five uh, reports so we will have um, that update in the dashboard soon um but we, we don't have nothing else uh, new in the dashboard. Okay.